President Donald Trump is expected to make a big decision this week on health care. He could end the government's payments that help low-income Americans pay for insurance under the Affordable Care Act. It could be days before investigators can begin their work at the site of a massive fire in Oakland, California. Severe weather is causing major flooding in several states in the Northeast this weekend. The governor of West Virginia has declared a state of emergency for part of the state. Thousands of residents are out of their homes in California because of fast moving wildfires. Two wildfires in Santa Barbara County have destroyed at least 10 buildings and burned tens of thousands of acres. New tonight, Attorney General Jeff Sessions has agreed to testify about possible Russian meddling in the 2016 election. A police chase spanning two states lasted almost two hours. The driver, a woman in a stolen car, only going about 15 miles an hour. President Trump is back at the White House tonight after another day of meetings at the G20 summit. An Arkansas family says their daughter is living proof that miracles really do happen. Three-year-old Eden Carlson suffered major brain damage last year after nearly drowning. Well, today she's making a recovery that no one expected. Don Champion has her story. Internet scam artists are targeting senior citizens by pretending to be loved ones in trouble. A group of local teens spent their day working under the hot sun all to help improve their North St. Louis neighborhood. Beautiful, gorgeous, amazing. I'm running out of adjectives to describe this out. weekend. Yeah, yeah, I ran out. <laughs> it's pretty fantastic. For people with disabilities, staying active is critical, but can be a challenge. Now there are specialized gyms offering sports and fitness programs that make it easier for everyone to stay healthy. Now to San Antonio, Texas, where authorities responded to a horrific scene this morning. Eight undocumented immigrants were found dead inside a tractor trailer and at least one more died at the hospital. Officials believe it was a human smuggling operation gone horribly wrong. 